This video is about the various options uh, and the various operations that we can commit on a particular project. So first of all, just click on this hamburger menu uh, and clicking on this shows a number of options. We can rename a project, we can delete a project, we can archive a project uh, and we can move the project up and down in the project hierarchy. We can duplicate the project, set the due date, uh, add custom fields, and we can also cu edit custom fields. So first of all, if you want to rename the project, we'll click on the edit project option. And the hub, it will hit the update button and the project has been renamed and if you want to delete the project we can just click on the delete uh, option and the project would be deleted as well and for archiving archiving this is something which uh, is a very handy way of only having the important projects in your drop down so maybe if you have a number of projects and you don't want your drop down to be cluttered uh, and uh, you want to maybe archive the projects uh, into a separate section archive section uh, especially it's especially handy for the projects on which maybe you're not working anymore so you can just uh, when you click on the archive project uh, the system will ask you to confirm it and if you just uh, go to the archive uh, section here it is now the project is being shown uh, in this section just move back to the project section as well So now if we just have a look at this drop down that project is nowhere to be seen because we have just archived it and if you go to the archive section here it is and if you want to unarchive the projects it's it's very easy just just click the unarchive button and uh, the project will start showing in the drop down list again and setting a due date of a project is very simple just click on the button and now you can change the due date by default uh, when the project is created uh, the system assigns it uh, a, a due date for the very same day but we can always change the due date of a particular project and this is a very handy feature if you want to add custom fields for a particular project so maybe uh, we want to add an email field or uh, we can also add a website field a text field a phone number field uh, any number field currency field so this is a very handy feature of adding custom field which lets you uh, by utilizing this feature you can almost uh, make uh, use the task uh, section of jumple as literally like a CRM because you can uh, record various details uh, 
through this feature and now when we go uh, to the details section this is the new custom field that we have just created and that gets saved automatically as usual and we can always go back and edit these custom fields as well any changes that we want uh, we can always make through this we hit the save button and the change will you know it, it has taken effect so now we have covered uh, all the various options that's available for a particular project. Important thing, one important thing to remember is that this hamburger menu would only be visible to the project creator uh, so that only the project creator can make these changes. Thank you. Thank you for your time.